एवरीवन आई एम दिवराणी बाबर वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर एट ए एस एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी पुणे टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज इटरेटिव मॉडेल सो इट इज वन ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोसेस मॉडेल नाउ इन दिस मॉडेल यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ सम ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड डेवलप द फर्स्ट वर्जन ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर after the first version if there is a need to change the software then a new version of software is created with new iteration so every release of the iterative model finishes in an exact and fixed period that is called as iteration year so the iterative model allows the accessing earlier phases in which the variations made respectively so the final output of the project renewed at the end of the software development life cycle process so here are the various phases of iterative model requirement gathering and analysis in this phase requirements are gathered from the customers and check by an analyst whether requirements will fulfill or not analyst checks that need will achieve within budget or not after all of these the software team skips to the next phase next phase is design in the design phase team design the software by the different diagrams like data flow diagram activity diagram class diagram state transition diagram etc next phase is implementation in the implementation phase requirements are written in the coding language and these requirements are transformed into computer programs which are called as software next phase is testing phase after completing the coding phase software testing starts using different test methods there are many test methods but the most common are white box black box and gray box test methods next phase is deployment phase in the deployment phase software is deployed to its work environment after the deployment phase review phase is there in this phase after the product deployment review phase is performed to check the behavior and validity of the development product and if there are any error found then the process starts again from the requirement gathering and the last phase is maintenance in the maintenance phase after deployment of the software in the working environment there may be some bugs some errors or new updates are required so maintenance phase involves debugging and new addition options now when to use the iterative model when the software application is large when there is a requirement of changes in future when requirements are defined clearly and easy to understand now there are some pros and cons of iterative model so first we will discuss what is pros of iterative model in the iterative model testing and debugging during smaller iteration is easy a parallel development can plan it is easily accepted acceptable to ever changing needs of the project risks are identified and resolved during the iterations limited time spent on documentation and extra time on designing these are the pros of iterative model now there are some cons of iterative model that is not suitable for smaller projects more resources may be required design can be changed again and again because of imperfect requirements requirement changes can cause over budget 
Project completion date not confirmed because of changing requirements. These are the cons of iterative model. So we have studied all the software process models. So these software models specifies the stages and order of a process. Models are representations that can aid in defining, analyzing and communicating a set of concepts. So these all the system process models are specifically developed to support analysis, specifications, designs, verifications and validation of a system as well as to communicate certain information. This is all about the software process models. Thank you.